Okay, X traders, let's dive into the active trader window here in the sub tab. So we have our ticker, and all we have to do is hit this buy market button. And as soon as you do that, it brings up the order confirmation dialog. Hit send, and boom, you can see that you're long, position long, 50 plus shares, right? And it gives you all the information that you need to hit the sell market. Now, as soon as you turn positive, right, on the PL for the day, or PL from the open, you can go ahead and hit the sell market button and take your profits, right? Now that's if you're going to be doing like, you know, uh, very quick two or three second scalping, which is not something that I normally do, but I'm going to try to do so for this video. So we're up about three, four bucks at the moment. I could go ahead and hit the sell market. just want to show you what I'm looking at. Let's say that this is the bull flag that I am that I have my eye on and it seems to have broken up above it and I'm gonna see if I can draw a support resistance line let's go ahead and look at how the sell market see so as soon as you get the PNL for the day positive you hit sell and you're done okay so let's go ahead and buy market again and see what else we can do besides sell market so we could, like I said, sell market, or we could flatten, which means that we go back to zero, whatever we have. Uh, flatten your position means that you're out of everything that you're in at whatever moment in time. But in this case, we're going to be holding those 50 shares that we got. So let's try to hold it for a little while and see if we get a better reaction. We can see that we're up about five, six, seven bucks, right? I'm just going to leave it here on sell market in case uh, something uh, unexpected happens. Right, so that would be the idea of the sell market button. And you can actually remove the confirmation dialog box. Now you can see everything moving on the order book down below. You can see that of course people want to sell high, which is the ask size, and that's why everything is lit up on the top right above 880 something. And the buy orders are on the bottom left, which are in green, and that's below the current market price of 878 or so. So Let's see if we can get a better PL. We're up uh, 356 for the day because that includes the first trade that we made. And now we are losing some of that. You can see how the chart is starting to look a little bit bearish with a rejection and then a move down. But of course, this is the five minute, so anything can happen. Now, let's go ahead and look at something different. So we're going to look at placing the sell market order and getting out at 1350. There we go. We got uh, some more profit. So now for our PL for the day is 1126. So in just a few minutes, we've made you know 11 bucks. Not a lot. We're only working with 50 shares each trade. So we're going to go ahead and look at a different ticker. I'm looking at these that get alerted to, by the way. This is not something that I'm coming up with. So I'm going to go ahead and get 50 shares again. You can uh, modify these buttons to whatever you want or increase the quantity manually. In this case, I'll stick to the 50 and go ahead and hit send. And then again, just like that, I'm long another 50 shares of MTech. Okay, so uh, of course, you can also draw support and resistance lines, as I tried to mention a little bit earlier. And this looks like a mm, level where it might have hit some support resistance. Of course, this is not a very liquid uh, ticker. This looks a lot better. This looks like a lot better. So I'm going to mark that as a support resistance line right there. And uh, I'll try to use that as my stop loss. Okay, That is why I drew that. And for a while, I can just sit on this, you know, sit on my hands and on the sell market button, see if anything uh, interesting happens. This is not moving a lot, as you can clearly see. Uh, but let me go ahead and see what other things I can explore. So we are long 50 shares, and PNL is zero. So I could either flatten, but that doesn't do me any good, uh, or I could sell either market or limit, right? And it's telling me here how much it is that I am, in this case, selling, uh, or I could buy some more, uh, in case in the case that I were down for the day. And we could look at the individual uh, ask sizes here. Like I said, the market price is currently 107, somewhere in between there. And everything on the top right are sell orders, because of course, this should make sense. People want to sell high. 
So we're going to go ahead and just click on that and then that gives us a sell market order, sorry, a sell limit order, right, for the 50 shares. So that's in and you can see on the chart here it gives us uh, the um, the range that we picked, which is or the level which we picked, which is one spot one or a dollar ten, and I'm currently up about forty one cents, right? So again, I could buy more if I think this thing is going to bounce, uh, or I could just cancel. I could cancel every single order that is out there, uh, or I could just sell it for my forty one cents. But flatten uh, is something that you want to hit in case something screwy is going on in the market, and just basically get out of everything. Or if you're going away somewhere, you know. Uh, you're not going to be in front of your screen, you're not going to be able to watch it, hit flat and get out of everything. Just make sure to check out the PNL for the day uh, and the PNL for uh, open, right? So the PNL for the day basically accumulates everything that you've done during the day. And the PNL open is uh, for whatever trades you currently have open at the moment. So uh, for this ticker, we've only made 50 cents so far, which are still open. So that is the PNL for the open as well as the PNL for the day. Okay, so you can look at the lot sizes of the people that are offering, you know, uh, on the different uh, at bid and ask sizes uh, to give you an idea of where this ticker might be going. If you have a lot of pressure on the buy side, this thing might be going up. If you have a lot of pressure on the uh, sell side, then this thing might be going down. All right, and I'm going to get out of this trade. I'm up a buck fifty, which is not bad. I'm going to get out of this trade simply because I am not going to be at the screen any longer. So this is how I use the Active Trader window uh, or sub tab. It is very powerful. Um, you can make a lot of money in very little time, and, but you do have to be glued to the screen. So you do have to have that kind of time. All right. So I'm glad you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or more um, topics that you want me to cover on Thinkorswim, then go ahead and uh, drop a comment in the comments section. All right, so I am getting out of this. Uh, entering this order will cancel all of the working orders. Yes, that's fine. If you want to disable um, till the next login session, just the, the dialogue, you can do that too. And just like that, I'm out. There's a reason why Xtrades is currently the fastest growing application on the market for sharing financial ideas. With over $2.5 million paid in the last two years to contributors, users are flocking to see what trades the top traders on the leaderboard are sharing in real time. If you're looking to grow your reputation as a trader on the internet or discuss your trading ideas with other reputable investors, click the link below and get connected with the trading mentor today, completely free of charge.